Warm greetings, everyone. Looney Farm Guy here, and today we're going to look at these two machines. At first glance, they may look identical, but they aren't. I'm going to show you how. Stay tuned. So, as I said, uh, on the surface, at first glance, uh, these two might look quite identical, or at least do the same thing. Uh, so, what we have here is the Ropa Anaro Moz 5 and the Moz 5. Now, you will find these in two different places. This one, you may be a little bit more familiar with. I believe it was in 19 and uh, you will find it under beat technology where are we here we go beat technology at the end the ropa ma 5 it picks up beats uh, pretty plain and simple i have run this through a test let's start her up uh, if you may have been familiar we'll just l1 and uh, x uh, let's open up our help window here it is kind of quite a uh, process. So what it actually does is it picks up beats off the ground and then deposits it into a trailer. So now you can move this arm with your arse right stick, L1 and right stick. Move it around and up and up. Oh, let's, get, let's get back here, up and down. Uh, right stick, or R1 and right stick, kind of moves that secondary bit around so you can, so flipping back and forth, you can position this quite well. Uh, of course, it's like, just like a header on a, on a combine, you lower that, and what we got here, we have sugar beets, and that is what this is designed for. You turn it on, come up to the pile, and it uh, basically just uh, supposed to suck. There it is. It's it's. You can see that it has filled the uh, uh, the belt system. And if we back up the truck here to it, so typically it's see uh, you'll have a pile of a product that you want to pick up. And this makes it very easy instead of a front end loader or some other device get it in there and it picks it up from the pile like so and you can move forward adjust that rear thing to I know my help windows in the way but you can move it around up and down you can't extend it but you can move it say back and forth go forward and then like so but let's just let this uh, empty itself but as I have tried there we go it uh, it won't pick up anything else uh, not even uh, not even the cut beats over here I have a little pile of uh, chopped beet it's like nope so, fold it up again. That is the Ropa 5, or Ropa Mao 5. Strictly beats only. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, no, fold it up. Okay, we'll park this out. And then, now we'll go on to the interesting bit, which I just kind of somewhat um, overlooked initially. Uh, but when I seen it, it's like, whoa, okay. Uh, this is something I don't remember in Farming Simulator 19, and if it was, I totally missed it. So, the Narumau 5 looks nearly identical, but unfolded. The header looks, well, it has a different look to the header, doesn't it? Now, looking this one 
is going to be under miscellaneous. There we go. Now, if you notice the bottom, it shows uh, quite a number of different uh, items uh, on that list that could be extremely uh, interesting uh, for use. Now, uh, let's dump these beats out again so we can just show you. We're going to go kind of, I'm going to try and go through these uh, quickly if I can, which is not probably not the easiest thing. But there's a few items uh, courtesy of this uh, wonderful multi. Uh, the multi fruit buy station by 82 Studios. Uh, I have been able to buy, purchase, and make piles of several different kinds of products here. Now, according to the list, uh, if we look at it again, uh, it is not showing beets. Uh, we got wheat, barley, oats canola, sorghum, sunflower, soybean, corn, seeds. Uh, that looks like uh, TMR or could be forage. Uh, chaff, I believe that is wood chips, perhaps. Uh, silage, uh, that second last one is either lime or stones and then fertilizer I believe the icons are still a little bit yeah I haven't memorized them all but I have all the products out here on the field so let us see what this will pick up this I have not tried so this is <coughs> this is going to be a surprise for me and for you uh, let's lower that down, turn it on. There is the animation for that. Beats. Oh. It does not pick up beats. All right. Thus, what use would the beat one be for if it picked up beats as well? Okay. This is potatoes. New. <clears throat> will not pick up potatoes. Here we have, uh, as a matter of fact, olives. No, will not pick up olives. This one I'm sure it will pick up because, well, it is in the... There we go. <clears throat> that was wheat. Uh, can we unload... Force unload, unload here. <clears throat> there you go. You can transfer product. You don't need something to dump into. That's very handy. Excellent. So that was wheat. Wheat looks very, very much like wheat. Olives actually look very much like olives as well. <clears throat> All right. On to the next. We have cut beet, which I don't think <clears throat> it will pick up, and it will not. Funny that. <laughs> but that's how it's set up. Uh, what do we have here? We have sugar cane on the ground. Sugar cane on the ground. Oh, we have to... I picked up a little bit of wheat there. Uh, sugar cane. Nope. Next up is seeds. Yes, it's already picking them up. And oh, it's just continuously putting them on the ground. That's interesting. We'll let that empty out. Come on, empty out. It is a bit of a beast. Uh, so it's not <laughs> uh, 
it's uh it's definitely meant for very uh very large areas <clears throat> all right what have, what do we have next we have uh this i believe i don't remember what this is it looks like uh I wish you could. Lay, I wish you would uh, be able to tell what stuff on the ground is. Uh, this is grass, of course. Here, we're going to test that out because that could be very. Okay, whatever that is, it's picking. <laughs> it's picking it up. Grass? No. Will not pick up grass. So that's, uh, that was something I was really curious about. That would have, uh, uh, would have, would have changed a few things. Uh, now, this is chaff. Uh, this is wood chips here. This is wood chips. I still can't remember what, well, I think that's manure. Is that manure? No, I think the nearest over there. Okay. Chaff. Yes, chaff instantly picks up the chaff. Wood chips. Yes. Hey, oh no, straw, straw. That would be uh, if it picks up straw. That would be extremely helpful. No, it will not pick up straw. Picks up hay, but it doesn't pick up straw. This is a little bit strange. I wonder if we'll see a mod. Uh, so now we can move along to some of the more odd ball things perhaps uh, this is actually uh, we have lime I believe yes lime this is fertilizer all the white stuff and this is snow <laughs> no for snow all right so you can't snow clear with this unfortunately that is a no Lime, yes, it definitely will pick up lime. That's interesting. Uh, fertilizer. Fertilizer is a yes. Now you might say, what if I have a pile of rocks from rock picking on the ground and I want to transfer them or move them or something like that <coughs> no that is a negatory <laughs> and now we move on to manure say you have a you know your cows are being quite busy or pigs that's manure let's get around this hump I don't know why I left a hump there <clears throat> so manure Will it move manure? No. So you're out of luck on manure. And now, to the final coupe de grasse. I thought I'd say, well, you have a large silage pit. And uh, you need to uh, transfer that silage out of there in uh, quick order. Uh, let's start this up. Uh, can we use this? Yes. And there you have it, gentlemen and ladies. Girls and boys, uh, your next, perhaps, silage uh, transfer unit, although it is quite expensive. Now I remember what the other one is, TMR. It will move TMR uh, and forage. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I mean, it's not the quickest 
and it definitely isn't the cheapest uh, but uh, this uh, is well I guess you could say it's a very expensive belt system because uh, that's pretty much what it is although it moves around a little bit faster transports it's 26 miles per hour so and there you have it uh, the Ropa Nauru Moss 5 working away I hope you enjoyed this uh, little video I'm sorry for the length but we had to try out all the different types and I hope it makes your gaming more enjoyable I'm a Looney Farm guy and remember it's just a game so have some fun with it until next time bye for now 